In this video, I'll be using Group Policy to deploy Microsoft Edge extensions. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find videos about my Windows Server setup, and there is also a video about installing policy templates for managing Microsoft Edge settings via Group Policy. And now I'll begin this video by going to VMware Workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. And here I will be creating my group policy, so I'll go to Tools Group Policy Management, then I will right click on Group Policy Objects and select New. I will name the policy Edge Settings, then I will click OK. I will expand Group Policy Objects, I will select the policy that I created, then I will right click on it and select Edit. And because I will be creating this policy for my computers, I will go to Computer Configuration, Policies, Administrative Templates, Microsoft Edge, and then I will click on Extensions. And for deploying the extensions, we need to modify this setting right here. Control which extensions are installed silently. I will click on it. I will first enable this policy and click on Show. And here we need to provide IDs of the extensions that we want to install. And for that, I will go back to my GitHub page, and here I have this Microsoft Edge extension URL that brings us to the Microsoft extension store and here we can select the extensions that we want to install for example in my case I will be installing uBlock Origin so I'll open a new tab for it and then for Grammarly and also let's do Adobe Acrobat Reader and now I have all the extensions opened here and in the extension pages we only care about the URL about the this part right here Basically, this is the extension ID that we need for deploying the extension. So I'll select this extension ID for uBlock Origin, then I will copy it, go back to my server, and insert the value here. Now I will grab the extension ID for Grammarly, copy it, go back to my server, insert the value here, and the last one is Adobe Acrobat Reader. Once again, copy the extension ID and place it here. So now we have three extensions that we will be deploying. Then I will click OK, Apply and OK. And that's basically it for configuring this policy. So I'll close this window, go to Details and for GPO status, I'll select User Configuration Settings Disabled because currently this policy has only computer settings in it. And I will leave all other settings on default. Now after creating the policy, we need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers on which we want to deploy the extensions. In my case, the organization unit will be this one, it's called computers, and it is holding all the computers in my domain. So to assign the policy, I will click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. Then I will click OK here, and as you can see, the policy appeared here and also in the list here. And that's basically it. Now to test this policy, I will go to one of my client machines that I have here. I will open Microsoft Edge, and now if I go to extensions, and manage extensions, you can see that I don't have any extensions installed currently. And that's because even though I created the policy, I didn't give it enough time to update on my client machines. So I'll do it manually. I will go to start menu, search for CMD, and here I will type GP update, press enter, and now we need to wait a bit. And as you can see, the policy update was successful. If I go to Microsoft Edge and extensions, now we can see that we have three extensions installed. Adobe Acrobat Reader, Grammarly, and also uBlock Origin. And that means that the policy is working fine, and that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and see you in the next one.